Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Today we gather to do the invitatory and morning prayer for Thursday in the 27th week of Ordinary Time. So let us begin. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord. The Lord is our God. O oh God, be gracious and bless us and let your face shine face shed its light upon us, so will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, let us worship the Lord. The Lord is our God. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us worship the Lord. The Lord is our God. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come, let us worship the Lord. The Lord is our God. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us worship the Lord. The Lord is our God. The earth has yielded its fruits, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Come, let us worship the Lord, the Lord is our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the Lord is our God. This morning you may find the Lord's Prayer, I'm, I'm sorry, the hymn, which we will do together, uh, on page 1029 of the fourth volume of the Breviary. It's with um, morning prayer, lauds, so let us begin. When morning fills the sky, our hearts awake and cry, may Jesus Christ be praised. In all our works and prayer, his sacrifice we share, may Jesus Christ be praised. The night comes as day, when from our hearts we say, may Jesus Christ be praised. The powers of darkness fear, when this glad song they hear, May Jesus Christ be praised. In heaven our joy will be to sing eternally. May Jesus Christ be praised. Let earth and sea and sky from depth to height reply. May Jesus Christ be praised. Let all the earth now sing to our eternal King. May Jesus Christ be praised. By this the eternal song through ages all along. May Jesus Christ be praised praised. Glorious things are said to you, O city of God. On the mountain is, this, is his city cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. If you are told glorious things, O city of God, of you are told. Babylon and Egypt, I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tar, Ethiopia, these will be her children. And Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord, most high, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, these are her children. And while they dance, they will sing, and all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, your only Son wept over ancient Jerusalem, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock and made it the mother of the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church, and grant that all people may be reborn into the freedom of your spirit. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds the flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. 
Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea, and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, and has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop in the bucket, as dust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocaust. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing, and void he counts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king. The peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim. The earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests are Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will. They kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives. Yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> God, you are the source of all holiness, though no one can see you and live. You give life most generously, and in an even greater way, restore it. Sanctify your priests through your life-giving word. And consecrate your people in his blood until our eyes see your face. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. As generous distributors of God's manifold grace, put your gifts at the service of one another, each in the measure he has received. The one who speaks is to deliver God's message. The one who serves is to do it with the strength provided by God. Thus, in all of you, God is to be glorified through Jesus Christ. <clears throat> From the depths of my heart I cry to you, Hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire. Hear me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, Hear me, O Lord. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would share, save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Let us joyfully cry out in thanks to God the Father, whose love guides and nourishes his people. Most merciful Father, we praise you for your love. For you wondrously created us, and even more wondrously restored us to grace. At the beginning of this day, fill our hearts with zeal for serving you, so that our thoughts and actions may redound to your glory. Purify our hearts of every evil desire. Make us intent on doing your will. Open our hearts to the needs of all men. Fill us with brotherly love. And now we join all our prayers into one prayer, the prayer of God's people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful and ever living God, shine with the light of your radiance on a people who live in the shadow of death. Let the dawn from on high break upon us, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.